to my channel. Today I've created a smoky eye by using some blacks and some browns and earthy colours. So if you guys want to learn how to get this look, just keep on watching. Bye! So first we are starting off by applying some sticky tape on the sides of our eyes. This is to give you the sharp look for the eyeshadow. You can get as messy as you want because we are using some dark colours. So what I just did was uh, place the sticky tape on the back of my hand just to get rid of all the sticky stuff. That way you won't hurt you too much while pulling it off. So I already did my eyebrows off camera so now we're just going to jump in and start with our eyes. So now what I'm using is I'm placing all over the eyes with the MAC Paintly Pot. This is to stop eyeshadow from creasing. Next I'll be going in with the Ben 9 palette and I'll be using the white and cream eyeshadow. This is just to set the eyes after using the painterly pot. Next we'll be using the MAC 217 and we're jumping into using the Makeup Geek Cream Brulee and Chickadee shades and we're placing this right in the crease of the eye and we're blending that in windscreen wipers. This is a great uh, transition colour and we will be building up more colour along the way. All we're doing now is just blending in the, the colour of the crease and we're just building it up slowly, slowly. Next we're going to be going in with the colour Frappe. This is just adding a more warm tone to the crease. This is gorgeous colour that can be worn on anyone and just blend, blend, blend. Next, I will be going in with a darker brown from the Makeup Geek collection and this colour is called Cocoa Bear. It is also going to be placed in the crease of the eye, going in and using the same brush we used before, which was the 217 from MAC. Jumping into the Jaclyn Hill palette, we'll be using a colour that is similar to like a chocolate mahogany brown and this palette doesn't have the name of the shadow so I'm sorry I'm just guessing you know roughly what the colour is but we're going to be putting this in the crease of the eye and this is just adding some definition to the eyes before adding another darker colour that we'll be placing after this. Now I'm just going to be taking a cotton earbud and I'm just going to be cleaning away some shadow that I think I just went a little bit too high with the eyeshadow. I'm just going back with that blending brush and just blending out all the rough edges after taking away all that shadow from the top. It just needs a little bit of a touch up. Now we're jumping in and we're going to be using the Bobbi Brown Cream Shadow Stick in the colour Espresso Bean. We're just going to be applying this to the lid of the eyes to hold any shadows that will be placed on after this step. We're going to be applying a black eyeshadow and now we're just going to be going in with a pencil brush to just blend that all away. We're now 
now going to be jumping into the Makeup Geek shadows and we're using the colour Corrupt and we're using a flat eyeshadow brush. We're just going to be packing this all over the lid um, and this will just, you know, give it a nice black look. It's so pigmented, I absolutely love this colour. You can build it up to as the intensity that you want. I was building it up really slowly so you can just do the same thing. So what's good when using this brush is, as you can see right now, I'm literally swiping it from side to side to side. This is blending all the colour of the black so it doesn't leave any harsh lines. We will be going in with a fluffy brush just to blend out all the edges but I like to do this also just so it can give it an easier job for the fluffy brush but um, yeah just I'm going in again and just packing on more colour just as I said earlier you can build it up slowly slowly. Now going into using a fluffy brush we are going to be blending out all the harsh lines that you get while using a black eyeshadow. Black eyeshadows are probably the hardest colour to blend out so please take your time. As you can see it takes a long time to blend out all the harsh lines but you know practice makes perfect and don't be afraid to work with dark colours. This will be a great look for anyone, absolutely anyone. So take your time blending and you know eventually you'll get there. going in with a pencil brush. What we're going to be using this with is a the colour Corrupt from the Makeup Geek Shadow and what we're going to be doing here is making a wing liner by using the eyeshadow. This is really good for when we go in and draw the winged liner as it gives you the, the right line just to copy it, just to follow the line. That's all you need to do. What we're doing now is going grabbing the blending brush and we're just diffusing the black eyeshadow. is while blending away too much you might lose some of your pigmentation on your lid so you can just go right back in there and just reapply the black um, eyeshadow <laughs> Keep blending away until you feel it has reached the stage where you are most happy with, like I am, <laughs> as you can see. But I'll still keep blending. Blending is the key to a girl's heart. going in again with the MAC 217 using the Jacqueline's Milk palette. We are going in with the same colour that we did before with using the chocolate mahogany colour. This is also just to deepen up the crease of the eye just to give it some more warmth because I felt like it just looked too black for my liking. So this is just going to warm it up and just give it a nicer look. <laughs> And then grabbing any clean blending brush and then just blending away any harsh lines once again. Once again when blending you can go a little bit too far so you can just grab a cotton pad and just wipe it down just a little bit until you're happy with the way it looks. Next we're also going to be going in with the Chickadee and Pig Smoothie and we're also adding that to the crease of the eye. This is also going to be warming up the look because we did apply this earlier in the beginning of the stage and we're just going to be deepening that up. 
I just went back in and grabbed the pencil brush that I used earlier and I'm just fixing up the black shadow because I did see there was a bit of a missing shadow there so I just went in and just fixed that up. I wanted to add a little bit of a sparkle so I went in with the foiled eyeshadows that Makeup UK had created and they're absolutely amazing. I'm using the colour Mesmerise and I'm just uh, dabbing that into the middle of the eyelids using a flat shadow brush. This is just to give it a little bit of a sparkle just as I've mentioned. Not that you can really see it but in the sun it won't look too matte because the colour Corrupt which is the black shadow that we have placed it was, a, it was matte so this would just give it a bit of a shine. Once you've done that, just grab your blending brush and then spread the blend those colours together. Now using the Bobbi Brown Gel Liner in an angled brush to draw on the wing liner. I absolutely love this gel liner. It is so creamy and buttery and it glides straight onto the eyes with no problem. And even if you do make a mistake, you can just grab a cotton bud and just dab it down. It will literally take it all off. Like it is really good. To darken my eyeliner up, I've just grabbed the Maybelline Liquid Liner. Out of your, out of my own choice, I just like to make the actual liquid liner stand out a bit more and this is my go-to liner. I use this every single day and I love it. And, and now for the lashes. What I'll be using is the mascara Better Than Sex. I'm just going to be coating the top lashes and leaving the bottom lashes until we complete the eyes. And now going in and applying my lashes, I'm going to be using the Duo Lash Glue and I'll be using the House of Lashes in the style Iconic. I absolutely love these lashes. They're so fluttery and gorgeous. Definitely a go-to lashes for a party or, you know, a birthday party or anything like that. And now to complete the look. We're going to start with applying a primer and I'm going to be going in and using the Pore Professional. This is very lightweight and so, so, so silky. I absolutely love this primer. You're just going to dab that all over your face and then slowly work that into your face by rubbing it in slow motion. Now for foundation. The foundation that I'll be using would be the Makeup Forever HD foundation. I'm in the shade N155 and N145. So I'm just applying that on the back of my hand and I'm going in with a flat top kabuki brush. And I got this one from Crown, Crown brushes that is, and I'm just applying that all over the face in dabbing motions. So you don't really want to slide this too much. Preferably you need to dab it all over your face and make sure you place this under your jawline as well. just went in with a small concealer brush and I'm just blending uh, the foundation near my eyebrows because I didn't want to get any of the foundation in my eyebrows with the other flat top kabuki. It was just too big so I'm just working that around. So now I'm just going in with the Maybelline concealer and I'm using uh, the colour Fair Claire. 
So I'm going to be putting lacing that underneath my eyes, uh, down the bridge of my nose, on my cupid's bow, and my forehead, and on my chin. So now I'm going in with a damp beauty blender and I'm just going to be blending away the concealer. With the concealer brush we're just going in and fixing up the concealer and now grabbing the flat top kabuki and blending out all the edges. Next we're going to be going in with the 212 brush and we're going to go in with the frappe and cocoa bear to apply this in the lower lash line. Also going in with the Jaclyn Hill palette with the cover pointed out just as so. We're going to be going in and applying that in the lower lash line. We're going to be going in with the, pretty much all the same colours that we did use in the crease of the eyes. And we're just going to be blend all the same colours in the lower lash line. Now going in with the cream brulee and chickadee and just blending that in also into the lower lash line. Now for the waterline, I'm going to be using the Bobbi Brown Black Liner Gel. To set the face, I'm going to be going in with the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the color Light using a flat, fluffy, using a fluffy powder brush. I absolutely love this powder. It gives you such a flawless matte look and you'd want to go for something very matte with this look. Not so much a dewiness. Now to also set the under eye, we're going to go in with the Ben 9 Banana Powder. We're going to tap that out and just going to be using a sponge to apply that underneath the eyes. We're going to leave that to set. So I just grabbed the Brow L'Oreal Artist Plumper in the colour Medium Brown. I forgot to set my eyebrows in the beginning of the video as I did do the eyebrows off camera. So I'm just going to go in and do that now. Next we're going to go in with the Kat Von D palette. We're just going to use the three colours and use an angled brush I got from e.l.f. And we're just going to contour the cheekbones. To contour the nose I'm just grabbing a pencil brush and going in with the same palette which is the con with the coat. Now going in with another brush, we're going to be using the colour Lyric to place down the bridge of the nose. This is to highlight the nose. Now taking your fluffy brush, we're just going to be wiping away what we had set under our eye, which was the banana powder. Now going in with the same palette and taking the colour Lyric and placing that underneath the cheekbone. This is just going to highlight the contour. Now it's time for blush. We're going to be going in with the colours Infatuation and Bliss from the Makeup Geeks. We're just applying this to our cheekbones and the apples of our cheeks. Now just grab a powder brush and just wipe away the powder underneath the cheekbone. 
Now it's time to apply our lip liner. We're going to be going in with the Boldy Bear by MAC. We're going to line up our lips and also we'll be applying this all over our lips. And now for my favourite part, we're going to be highlighting. So I'm going to be using two different types. So first I'm going in with the Becca in the shade Opal. And the other is the Mary Luminizer. We're going to be applying this to our cheekbones, Cupid's bow, tip of the nose and down the bridge of the nose. Also on the chin. Now for the lipstick. The lipstick that I used in this look was the, the colour Please Me. I love this colour. It's like a nice pinky, pinky colour. Oh, it is a pink. Next I'm going to be putting in some eye dust in the inner corner. So this is just like a highlight. And this is by the Makeup Straw and it is called The Ring. And lastly, I'm going to be going in with the Urban Decay Setting Spray and I'm just going to be spraying that all over the face. It gives you such a cool breeze. And this is the final look. I hope you guys liked it and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you. Bye.